good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we do have some custom wwe figure updates for you guys and first of all you guys will notice freaking bamsies malamsies would you look at that right there guys we got neville's freaking beard back would you look at that beautifulness my goodness guys if you guys missed yesterday's video WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 15. I don't know if you guys checked it out. If you missed it, definitely go back on the channel and watch it before watching this video. Then come back and check it out because you guys will appreciate it a lot more. I promise you that. But yesterday on WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 15 here on the channel, we did a couple fix-ups. Uh, one of the customs I'm going to show you here in a minute. And another fix-up that we did was my custom Elite Neville. I took my custom Elite Neville that BEW made me a long time ago. This custom head scan that I've never seen anything like before we took one of the nxt basic head scans i sent it to him like a year and a half ago and i said bro will you turn it into a heel neville this was before you know or right when he turned heel and I really wanted a heel Neville for my Fed and, you know, in my collection. So I sent him that. He freaking sculpted on these angry eyebrows. He sculpted on the beard. And it was a freaking amazing Neville. One of my favorite figures in my collection. And yesterday, we were going to break it down so that I could make a custom Finn Balor. And so uh, we had to do a head swap. We heated it up. This is the Elite 55 Neville. I figured, you know what? That custom head scan will look really sick on that Elite 55 Neville. So what we did is we heated it up. And I even warned you guys. I warned everybody. I said, you know what, guys? If you're heating up a custom head scan if you heat it up too long you know you could end up damaging the figure and what happened was we popped it off of the custom elite neville and it was everything was fine and then we went to pop it on the elite 55 and sure a freak enough guys his whole entire beard fell off and it was just so upset. I was so devastated, guys. I was freaking just blown away. I was freaking down in the dumpster. I was like, no, Brad. You guys can go see my reaction on that video. Like, you guys knew uh, people were paying respects in the comments. We had F comments. We had RIP comments in the, in the comments section talking about Neville's beard being freaking gone, man. It was like somebody came in the middle of the night and just shaved his freaking beard off. And um, so what I did, you know, I, I being the surgeon and the doctor that I am, I said after that surgery video, I was like, no, Brad, this this cannot go on. I was messing around with some other customs today, and I said, you know, or yesterday, and I said, no, Brad, we're we're not going to accept this. So what happened is the beard fell off in one full piece. You go back and watch the video, you will notice the full beard. It's the craziest thing. It's like it was meant to happen. The beard came off in one solid piece, and it had like a little concave in there, like a little hole. So I went in there, and I just filled the, the hole up with super glue. I had some nice fix-it super glue, or whatever the hell it's called, from the dollar store. Went in there, freaking put it all in there, and just suction cupped it up in there, fit it nicely to the head, and sure enough, I took a toothpick, I, you know, picked around the extra. There is some, like, clear gray sort of going on around his mouth and beard area. I can touch that up with black paint, no doubt. It's not going to be a big deal. But I just stuck it on there, and now this head scan is good as new. It looks just as good, if not better, than the Custom Elite. I know the Custom Elite was a fantasy white attire, but I think the Elite 55 Neville with this head scan looks freaking super farty, farticles, nasty fart stuff. So... I really do love this. It's still one of my favorite figures now, and uh, I think it turned out great. I know it was a freaking accident and everything, but we got his beard back, and I'm super excited for that. You guys will notice this, that his kick pads are the rainbow kick pads. You probably saw that when the video first started. The reason that this is th this is this way, well, first of all, when I switched them, um, I kind of like the ridges better for Neville's kick pads. I think it gives it a design since they're usually all black, you know? And then another thing was I was going to paint these gold. Let me know down in the comment section, should I paint this rainbow stuff gold or should I just paint it black or what should I do? Let me know down below. But that is Neville. Super happy to have his beard back. I think this looks sick. I sent it to a couple people on Instagram and they really seemed to like it a lot and they were super happy that I was able to save the beard. So we saved the beard, thank God. And Neville is all good, 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 good. So that's not all I wanted to show you guys today. We also, I, yesterday I worked on this Finn Balor. This is a No Mercy Finn Balor. I know I've showed you a ton of custom Finn Balors the last few days, but uh, I worked on this one yesterday. It is a No Mercy 2017 Finn Balor with the cool gray and the white and the, the other cool gray. I'm not finished with it. It's a work in progress figure, um, so don't judge it just yet. We still have a lot of work to do on this, but this is from his match with Bray Wyatt. Uh, we got to put a white BC logo here. We got to put white triangles on the sides. There's a white Balor Club logo that's got to go on the butt. We got the knee. The knee pads are complete. I may add another uh, like little bitty gray right here just to add some more gray to it, so it's not so much white. And then the kick pads are still a big work in progress. I got to add light gray to it. 
Uh, I got to fix the shoes. The shoes were not black. They were full light gray and had some camo in there and stuff. So this one's uh, far away from done, but it is a pretty sick one. I put some Bo Dallas arms on there. Somebody, a very nice and great tip that a subscriber left on a video on the video yesterday was to use Kurt Hawkins' hands so that our arms so that I wouldn't lose the interchangeable hands, which is a genius idea. I did not think of that, so thank you to whoever that was. Um, that is something that I'll have to take note of, but I did put Bo Dallas arms on that guy, so uh, that No Mercy Finn Balor is not done yet. Uh, I do have an update on this Finn Balor, the Money in the Bank Finn Balor. I went in and added the silver brush details over there so you guys get that glitter effect going on on his trunks on his knee pads and on his kick pads. I updated that and uh, added that silver. I didn't add it to the face because it's supposed to be flat navy purplish color. It's not supposed to be like the silver dry brush or the glittery effect and obviously it's not supposed to be on the wrist tape. So uh, my boy Jesus, shout out to you Jesus Customs on Instagram for that uh, detail and how to uh, dry brush that silver on there. Really happy with this one. I think it's one of my favorites in the collection now. I just think uh, I actually am happy with my uh, my work on this one, so I think the glitter and the red and white really looks good. If we ever get this figure, I'll be disappointed because I'm really happy with this custom. I think everything turned out pretty well. Still waiting on the decal from Curbstone, but I did order those. I got all the decals coming for all the Finn Balors that we're going to be doing, so that is exciting to see. So Money in the Bank Finn Balor is there. Next up, we do have Survivor Series 2017 Finn Balor, and I did update this one. Last time you guys saw this, it didn't have the black details or the triangles on the sides. It, it wasn't this bright red. It was like a different, duller, uh, sort of flat red. It wasn't as vibrant and saturated. I added that to the trunks, the wrist tape, the uh, knee pads, and then I added it to the kick pads. Um, I didn't add it to the base to give it that dual tone color because the, the base of the kick pads is usually a uh, different uh, tone than the actual you know, sleeve itself. And then I did add the details to the shoes, which I am very happy with. I think that turned out great. Really, really clean there on the shoes. The Nike Freak wrestling shoes look great uh, with the black, white, and red details. And this is probably one of my favorite fins. I think it looks so sick. I'm not a huge fan of the color red, but at the same time, I think uh, I did a pretty nice job on this. I'm very excited with all the way these Finn Balors are turning out. Um, very uh, getting my Merry Christmas out of all those custom Balors that my family bought me. Um, I told you guys I was going to do it, and uh, I'm living up to it so far. So that is our Survivor Series 2017 Finn Balor. The only thing we're missing from that one is a red BC logo that I did order. i got to put that decal on there. And then the last Finn Balor that we have for today's video, I did finish the blue one as well. I don't know why it's not down here. Uh, maybe I can plug it at the end of the video. But we do have the white fix-up live event attire Finn Balor. Uh, the only thing i got to do about this is switch out the thighs with William Regal Elite 45 thighs. I did uh, mention that in yesterday's action figure surgery video, and I did order that part. I think I got it for like $9. So hopefully that comes in soon, and we'll do that on episode 16 of action figure surgery. We'll put on the William Regal legs, make it a lot accurate. and A lot accurate. What are you, stupid, Brad? A lot more accurate. And uh, you guys know how I am. I love the color white, my favorite color. Uh, looks so beautiful on the tires, especially my favorite guys like Finn Balor. So the white attire is looking freaking flames. Love this to death. Bo Dallas knee pads, Damian Mizdow kick pads with Tyson Kidd feet, and uh, Cody Rhodes Elite 20 crotch and torso and Bo Dallas arms, and Bamsies Malamsies white live event Finn Balor. And I'm happy about that one. Love that one to death. Can't wait to uh, use that in future. And here's the Elimination Chamber one. The only uh, update to this one that you guys missed yesterday uh, or in the other Finn Balor Customs videos that I actually did add the black and the black stripes. So now this one is completely done. He is done. I posted it on Instagram yesterday. His uh, logos are done. There's no decal work. All the painting's done. So I'm very happy with this Finn Balor. And uh, yeah, we're just adding up the Finn Balors now, guys. We're, we're getting them done and we're knocking them out. And I can't wait to continue to do them because uh, his non-demon attires are fun. You know, the demons are great and everything, but I think I like switching it up and doing the non-demons. They're really fun, too. But that pretty much does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'm, I'm super happy for the freaking beer, guys. We got the freaking beer back. Hell yeah. Another thing I want to run by you guys is how do you like the Royal MDT Royal Rumble stage to be set up in the background? I think it works for videos like today. Uh, I don't want to do it every video. Like the surgery videos I don't think would work well. Um, but I still like, uh, I like the stage as the background when you have a lot of figures like this. And you can see them all up close like that. But we got the beer back. Finn Balor Customs are updated, and um, I'm sorry that the only reason that I uploaded this is because I'm still waiting on my Elite 65 and Elite 66, guys. I, I'm so sorry. I'm still waiting on them. Hopefully, they come here very soon, and we can uh, get those reviews up. I hope you guys are waiting on those reviews from me. 
and you guys are excited to see those. I'm super excited to review both sets. Entrance greats Elias. A lot of good stuff coming out, and uh, I want to review it for you guys. So definitely let me know down below if you're going to be ready for those reviews. What do you think of all of the Finn Balor updates? What do you think of the beard that we got back? And what do you think of the MDT Royal Rumble stage being the background for some videos? I dig it. And uh, yeah, guys, so that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. We got the beard back.